Uh, Heather is an incredible author. She is a Floridian. She has written mm -hmm. four books. I'm going to read off of the bio here because she really has a very impressive biography here. So, oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. She holds a bachelor's degree in journalism from the University of Florida. Go Gators. Go Gators. She's an ordained elder and deacon in the Presbyterian Church mm -hmm. USA. Mm -hmm. She is a member of the Qantas Club of Palm Beach, the World Affairs Council of Palm Beach, Palm Beach Roundtable, and Zeta Tau Alpha alumni. She lives in Florida with her husband, Kevin, their pit bull and Bichon Frigé, <laughs> Jigsaw, and Ketchup. <laughs> uh, ketchup is uh, who we were talking about, and she followed Mustard, so. Yes. She just was made to That's be That's why her name's Ketchup, because she followed my Because Mustard lived 17 years. My little Bijan lived 17 years. Aw, that's, yeah, nice, so. that's a nice ripe age for a dog. <laughs> yes, yes, Especially I if know. they do that time seven thing. That's a that's Right. A, oh, I know. It's kind of silly. But the smaller the dogs, you know, the longer they can live, especially. So. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to name the four books that I know of that Heather wrote. And I'm sure there were way more papers and other things that she did in her career. But... She is the author of the book Game Over MS, mm -hmm. and we mean MS, multiple sclerosis. That's right. This book just came out in 2019. I want to read a review that I, I, <laughs> oh. I took on your book um, over the Game Over MS. So it says, Game Over MS is an incredible book that puts you in the point of view of someone who has MS and the struggles that come with it. Additionally, Heather does a great job outlining an effective procedure for managing her condition that can be used by anyone, even if they aren't experiencing any medical issues. I would recommend that everyone should read this great book to get a true perspective on the daily struggles of someone with a medical condition that manages it so well, you wouldn't even know she has it. So I think, I mean, that is, you know, I read that and I thought, okay, we definitely have to. And then uh, Heather's Facebook post, and you can find her on Facebook. She said, you probably know I've been following the blood type diet for 21 years. So what mm -hmm. I did for gaining over MS was to narrow the diet down right. to just two main avoid foods for you. Right. Now, I'm just saying, if you have a debilitating condition of any sort exactly. and someone tells you, number one, <laughs> I have it. Number two, I didn't write this book until at least 15 years after knowing that I was bold enough to say, listen to me. Right. <laughs> and then she's going to narrow that down even more right. with two foods to avoid. To so make it easy. To yeah. Make it nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, because you want someone to win at it. Right, right. Exactly. So uh, I'm going to let Heather take it away. I'm going to first ask you how long has have you had multiple sclerosis? Well, I was diagnosed in 2000, so it's been almost 19 years. And with what medical science knows now, what they did back then when I was 25 is they waited for a second and a different exacerbation. And here, I was 25 years old. I suddenly have this, this blindness that started out as a dot in my vision. And every morning as I would wake up, the dot would be bigger than it was the day before. And then in the, in the first two weeks, the dot was accompanied by these sudden headaches, and the headaches would get worse and worse. And eventually I realized that the headaches would show up if I would look up. And so I realized, okay, if maybe if I kind of tilt my head up and I look down, maybe it won't hurt, and it wouldn't hurt so much. Interesting. And, um, but in the meantime, the dot was getting bigger and bigger. After two weeks, the headaches stopped. I'm not a headache person. I don't get headaches. But, it, but they happened for those two weeks, and then they ended. But then the dot kept getting bigger and bigger. Over the course of, I would say, about a month, month and a half, and then the dot stayed really big, so much so that if I was looking at you and I covered up this eye, I wouldn't be able to see any, like, I would be able to see this, the you know, black my dot. peripheral vision, but I couldn't see the center mm. of my vision. So, um, so in, I was 25 years, and, now, and nowadays, if you're a 25-year-old girl who is otherwise healthy, they might even take into account any Scottish background because a lot of people with a little bit of a Scottish background have the body chemistry that might be susceptible to that. And I talk about that in the book too, that there might be a, a Viking connection. Um, and, it's, and it's very, and the 
the country of Scotland has a very high per capita rate of MS. And no it's funny kidding. I, I, had, I had no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that before either. And it's funny when you have this and then all of a sudden you're looking up research and you find all these things and you're learning all this stuff and you think, wow, I never knew that before. So, um, but thank goodness you. I mean, look, we, we kidded around before. You said you don't have any children. But I, I've got to tell you, I mean, if I have to research anything, mm -hmm. it's, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Because yes. I do have a busy life. And yes. worrying about getting food on the table and the kids right. and soccer and this, you know, sometimes I think we neglect our health because we yes. don't really have the time. So, right. I mean, really hats off to you for right. that. So, okay, so you did the research and you found the, the Scottish thing in the right. Bible. <laughs> right. Right, and fortunately, about a year after I had the optic neuritis, I had a Slim Fast on my desk. Thank God for Slim Fast. I love Slim Fast. I still drink Slim Fast. Um, and she said, oh, you should try the body type diet. And so I was looking it up the next day. I was looking for the book. That was before the Internet. So I went into the Walden books, and when we were looking for it, and we found the blood type diet, and I looked at it, and I thought, well, it kind of sounds the same. It kind of looks like the same sort of thing as the body type diet that my friend told me about. And so I bought that, and it said, sure enough, in the blood type diet, it says people with a B blood type, which I have, tend to be good at fighting off cancers and heart disease and things that are normal in society that everybody seems to get. But we tend to be susceptible to exotic autoimmune conditions like MS and lupus and Lou Gehrig's disease. And I thought, oh, because a year earlier when I had had the optic neuritis and I was told that I might have MS, they couldn't confirm it because I didn't have a second and different symptom yet. But I thought, okay, so I started to follow the diet. And that's what really gave that credibility with me. No kidding. What, what changed right away? What started getting better? <laughs> it was so funny because we were living in North Carolina and, uh, and that we were going through like, you know, a cold spell. And so my knees and then... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, a warm spell. In North Carolina, it kind of gets cold and then hot and cold and hot. Mm -hmm. And so uh, and my knees were start, starting to suddenly get better when I was walking up the steps to go into work. And I thought, well, it must be the, the warm. I thought it was me the, the warm weather. Because you look for logic. You know, you think, well, what, what's different? Okay, Isn't that interesting? Weather. We do do that. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're trying to look for just one logical, obvious thing. And then, but then in the North Carolina winter, when it started to get cold again, it was in January... And then my knees were still feeling fine when I was walking up into work the next day and the following day and the following day when it was cold again. I thought, I wonder if it's this silly diet that I'm on. <laughs> so, mm. And then sure enough, and then my back, I had had a funny little pain in my back and that went away. And my skin, I had had dry skin on my hands. And that started clearing up and I thought, oh my goodness. I thought if that's what's going on on the outside, then what's getting better on the inside that's too? Right. Sure, because that's just the indicator on the outside. Yeah. It's kind of like the thermometer, but yeah. the heat is on the inside. Right, yeah. and that's just what I know about. <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. So, so you immediately go, okay, I got to stay on this diet, yeah. and then you probably went, I got to dig in further. Yes, exactly.